All right, this is just a quick res video response to Gordon Foote's comment under one of my videos. And he asked, how can we left align certain columns? And that's what I'm going to share with you today. But there are a few things to remember. And the most important thing probably is that Excel and NIME work differently. So the question was, how can I format columns A to F um, left aligned and still keep these as numbers? And that is basically not a NIME, but more a Excel question because NIME other than Excel works on a table basis, meaning in Excel, the lowest entity, so to say, that you can work on is an Excel table cell. So you can have a different formula in every cell. Like in one cell, you could have a VLOOKUP, whereas in the other cell, you could have an IF formula, for example. NIME works differently. NIME works on a table basis, and you're always working on tables and columns and, and, and rows. Yes, you can break them down into and address single uh, cells, but most often you work on a column and cell basis. Okay. Now that we have clarified that, let's just switch to the screen and I show you what I have created. Okay, so here we have Excel and you see we have numbers. They are currently right aligned as standard numbers and you can see from the sum and the status bar here that these are numbers, um, that there are averages. So that's a clear indicator that these are numbers. Let's just quickly close that. And by the way, I have shared all my files with you guys. So I have linked the um, NIME workflow that you're currently seeing on the screen in the video description down below. You can download it and you will find the um, example files in there. Okay. So let me just quickly show you how you can find this. So if you download the workflow from the NIME hub, you just right click, say, copy location, local path. Then you go into your local explorer, copy it in here like this. And then there's the data folder. Here are the files. And this is my workflow. So we start as most often in these cases with an Excel reader. And I said relative to current workflow data area. And this is where I find the start file that we have just looked at. And you can see NIME imports it very well. You see the first one is a text or a string. Then the remaining columns are numbers. And I'm just seeing that my workflow is probably labeled wrong because what we basically want to do is we want to left align columns B to D, but it is called the label left align columns A to F. Okay, and if we just execute that, you see it imports everything the right way. We have the correct data types here. Everything is fine. The next thing we want to do is we want to take the XLS control table generator from the great continental nodes. And if you don't have that, that's an extension you have to install. It's free. It's an amazing extension. I really love it. And you basically unpivot everything. What does that mean? Well, it means if we do that, and let's just have a look at the results table, we basically create one row for each single cell and we extract its metadata. So we see this is the cell A1, column A. This is a comparable column. This is the column number. This is the column header. This is the row number, the row ID, and so on. And at the last column, you see the value. And if you want me to create an additional video on the great XLS um, formatter nodes from Continental, I'm happy to do that. Just leave a comment below this video or a thumbs up and I will do that. So now we have the metadata and what you need to understand here is that the XLS control uh, data does not override or, or do anything with the underlying data. It puts an additional formatting layer on top of it. So we have our data layer at the base and then the formatting layer that defines how these cells should be formatted on top of it. All right. And now that we that ha have that, we use a standard NIME rule engine. And we basically, what is the rule that we want to apply here? If we look at the base table again, well, we want to have the th second, third, and fourth column basically left aligned. And we just provide a tag for that that is then later on used here in the XLS cell formatter. So what does the formula look like? Well, I have two options for you. Rather we say column B or column C or column D, then apply the tag left aligned, or you say the column number is greater than one. And what we want to do is re replace the value. Once again, we're not overwriting any data. This is an additional formatting layer on 
top of the base data. All right, and if we execute this, we now see that every single um, column B, C, or D has this tag left aligned, but no column A. And that's exactly what we want. The one thing we need to do before we start formatting here is we need to re pivot it. That's what we do with the XLS control table generator. And let me just quickly show you the settings here. So here I usually have all these checkbox marked and here I have none. And usually NIME recognizes it or the extension it recognizes it from itself. So we just execute. And then in the XLS cell formatter, we just say, okay, horizontal alignment left for all tags that are called left aligned. We could assign different stuff here as well but we just want to left align so we execute that there is no preview once again it looks totally strange if you look into the preview and all we need to do at the end is once we have all our formats in this case just this one format we apply it so execute and I created a new file that's called final Excel formatted so let me just quickly how it looks And now you see everything is left aligned, but it's still numbers. And that could also be blue numbers, bigger numbers. They could have borders. There are all kinds of different formats that you can apply here. So once again, I have shared this workflow in the Nime Hub. You can download it. The link is in the video description down below. If that helps you, leave a like and a subscribe. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you get notified every time a new and helpful video comes out. So. That leaves me with just saying goodbye. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. See you next time and bye-bye.